everyone. Uh, today I'm going to make chocolate cupcakes. Um, now this was a request from Paige Papagai. So Paige, this one's for you. Um, this is just a really simple recipe. You're just going to get a regular cake mix, whatever you want, whatever flavor you're into. Um, I got the chocolate one because you requested chocolate. But um, the thing with this is, what makes it so great is instead of using vegetable oil, uh, vegetable oil or any other kind of oil, you use Diet Coke or Diet Soda. So I'm going to make this since I'm using chocolate as a cake mix. I thought chocolate covered cherries kind of theme. So I got the, um, for the soda I'm using the uh, Cherry Zero. So Diet Coca-Cola with ch cherry flavor. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to go ahead and put the cake mix in. And whatever cake mix you use, you just use 10 ounces of Diet Soda to go with it. Um, now I actually messed up. You're supposed to use like one to two egg whites, and I forgot to get I forgot to get like um, quick egg whites this week. I actually got the uh, the quick eggs, so that that would be fine. The only thing is it just adds to the the fat in there. But I mean, once I divide this up, it's probably going to make about um, 18 cupcakes. Uh, excuse me, 18 cupcakes. So once I divide, you know, whatever's in one egg amongst 18 cupcakes and still going to be down to like little or nothing. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add my um, my Diet Coke, Diet Cherry Coke to the uh, cake mix. I'm going to add a quarter cup of um, the quick egg, which is one, which is equivalent to one egg. So you what you want to do is if you want to use the egg whites, anywhere from one to two egg whites, just depending. Um, the last time I made this, I used one egg, one egg white, and it was fine. So I'm going to use the equivalent of one egg. And this. And now I'm going to blend it. So I'm going to turn off the recording and I'll be back once this is blended. Okay, I am back. So here's my batter. Right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and start uh, filling up my little muffin tins. So I got these guys right here. And I think it's just going to be probably about a quarter cup. Per muffin tin. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be about a quarter cup per muffin tin. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, load all these up, and um, I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. I have my cupcakes all ready to go. It made, um, was it 12, 16 uh, cupcakes. So here they are. They're all set and ready to go. I have my um, oven already preheated to um, 350 degrees. And I'm going to go ahead and pop these in. And they're going to be in there for about 22 minutes. Maybe a little bit longer. But I'll definitely keep an eye on them. That's right. The other thing is, okay, they're going to cook total for about 22 to 25 minutes. I do kind of like them a little bit, um, a little bit crunchier, so I, I do like to cook them a little bit longer. But probably about five minutes before they're um, done, I'm going to take them out and then top them with probably about, I don't know, either a teaspoon or a tablespoon, just depending, um, of cherry preserves. So I don't usually like um, I don't usually like frosting on my cake or cupcakes. Um, I don't know, I just it's just too sweet. 
So I figured, you know, since I'm doing the cherry thing, the diet cherry coke, chocolate covered cherries, I'd put cherry preserves on there. So I'm excited to try this. Okay, so yeah, that's gonna I'm gonna put that on probably like the last five minutes. So just kind of it can kind of warm up and be a kind of a glaze on top. But I don't want to put it on any sooner because I don't want it to sink. I want it to like sit nicely on top and get kind of gooey and stuff. All right, so I'll be back in about, um, well, I'll be back when I'm ready to put the, uh, the cherries on top. So be back. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Okay, so my muffins, are, my cupcakes are right out of the oven. I'm going to go ahead and top them, and they're nice and puffy. They're, they just get so fluffy. I'm going to go ahead and top them. Now, they're pretty full, so I'm probably just going to use... About a teaspoon on all of them. And we're just gonna add like a little flavor on top, a little a little something something. A little glaze. So yeah, this is the uh, cherry preserves. I got this jar from Trader Joe's, but of course you can get it, you know. Look for whatever you have in your um, in your local grocery store that you go to. You can do strawberry, you can do raspberry, and then you know, and then just have fun too with the um, different types of sodas you can put in this. Once they're all done and they're cooled off, I'm just gonna again wrap them individually in little baggies. Put them either in my freezer or my fridge, depending. And then we can have them throughout the week as um, as uh, little desserts. So these are going to go back in the oven for about another five minutes. Because I like my, my cupcakes to be a little bit drier. And then also I want the, uh, the pre preserves to kind of melt down. All right, so that's it. I'm gonna be, I'll be back in a couple minutes when I'm ready to pull these guys out. Okay, I am back. So uh, these guys are out of the oven, and I probably let them cook about 25 minutes total. So there's almost like a nice little crust on some of them. That's how we like it uh, here in our kitchen. <laughs> we like them a little bit uh, crunchy. Um, but I'm just going to let them cool off, and I'm going to really try my best um, to be patient this time. Uh, but I'll be back when I'm ready to taste test. Okay, I am back. I couldn't wait. I'm so impatient. I mean, since I set up my last cut when I said uh, I'm going to try to be patient this time and wait till it cools off, that was probably a total of like four minutes ago, and I snuck back into the kitchen. So I already tasted a little bit of it. It is so good. Here's one cupcake right here. And as you can see, I kind of like dug my fork into it a couple of times. But there's one cupcake with the little cherry um, preserved topping. Oh my gosh. It is so good. And if you haven't tried this with a diet, diet soda, give it a shot. I don't even notice a difference at all. I mean, it doesn't taste like diet. It's moist, it's light, it's chocolatey, it's sweet. This is so incredibly good. Mm-hmm. I'm making these again and again. Um, at the end of this, I'm going to go ahead and put the nutritional uh, facts, but just um, to let you guys know right off the bat, it's 138 calories, uh, 2 grams of fat, and 1 gram of fiber in each cupcake. These are so good, guys. I'm not even that big of a fan of chocolate. I'm digging these. I was actually going to pack these up and send them to my, my husband to, to, his, um, to his work tomorrow. But I, kept, I might actually keep a couple of these behind. Um, so if you have any questions at all about any of the ingredients I use, just go ahead and shoot them below. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching and enjoy. Bye.